All right, let me set the stage for you for this one. Uh, a guy is walking into work, been a very loyal employee forever, and he's walking in and his boss rolls in with his brand new Lamborghini, if that's your thing, or a, you know F-350 Platinum, or whatever the latest SUV is, a brand new Cadillac Escalade, or, or whatever. And uh, the guy walks up to the boss and says, wow, man, that's an awesome car. And the guy's like, yeah, you know, after spending you know nights and weekends and stressing about money, he's like, we've really built this place up to the point where where I can afford this. And the guy's like, that's really cool. He's like, I'd like to have one of those too. And he says, you know what? If you just work hard and you show up early and you go home late, maybe in another year I can uh, get another one or I can get uh, the other thing. If, he, if he's got the car, he can get the pickup truck or whatever. And that's frustrating for the worker because he comes in every day and he puts in his time and effort and he would like to have these things too, but he just simply can't afford it. Because what he has been doing is while the owner of that business or the owner of that company or whatever has been building his dream, the worker has been working on building the owner's dream as well. The difference is, is that while the owner is building his dream, he's getting all the things that he wants. He's getting the nice cars, he's getting the income, and he's also taking all the risk and all the stress, but he it gets the, the rewards for all of that work. Whereas instead the worker is simply paid for his time and given benefits for his time and that is all. And that is why in the end the worker and anyone out there who has a job likely ends up being unsatisfied with their work and just doesn't feel like they are ever getting ahead. Now Blink-182 tried to warn us when they told us that work sucks and we were all like, ah oh, no, we didn't heed the warning. We never heeded the warning because even Jennifer Aniston said it in office space, she's like, Every Everyone hates their job but here's the deal is that the work the, the world needs workers there we need people to do things you know we need fast food people we need people to fix the roads we need people to fix our plumbing our HVAC doctors lawyers and everything but if you have dreams if you have ambitions oftentimes that exceeds your nine to five right I mean even people with relatively high incomes you know if you have if you earn six figures if you're like a hundred thousand dollar type of guy and you would like to have a really nice house and a really nice uh, boat let's say and really awesome awesome vacations. In this day and age, $100,000 just isn't going as far as it used to. And when you're talking about increasing your income you know, at your job, is there a chance that you are going to be able to take your job right now that you make 50 or 100,000 or $200,000 at, and are you going to be able to increase your salary by 50% or 100% in order to get these things? Is that even something that's realistically possible in your line of work? I mean, even if you got another job, is that uh, career set uh, able to give you a 100% raise if you move on to another employer. It's likely not. And the 3% increase that you're getting every year, it's going to take you at least 30 years to double your income. And when you do that over 30 years, the average inflation rate being around 3% means that basically in 30 years with 100% increase in your wage, you're going to see 100% increase in inflation. So you're essentially at the same point that you were three decades prior. So if you want to retire early, if you want to quit your job, if you want to get that Lambo, you want to do the awesome things that you want to do. How do you think that you are going to get these things with only a job and what can you do in order to get there? So smash the like button and we're going to talk about that. So here's the reason why most people hate their job, J-O-B, which stands for, by the way, just over broke because that's essentially where it uh, leaves most people. Most people are living to paycheck to paycheck and uh, Mr. Wonderful Kevin O'Leary one time said that the, uh, the salary that they give you for working a job is the drug that they give you to, in order for you to forget your dreams. And I think that that's uh, pretty... Pretty a good statement to make because I think a lot of people when they were younger, when they were kids, they had these gigantic dreams and then they got uh, then they got a job and then all of a sudden they were working for the next job and it always just kind of kept them limited to what they could do with their jobs. I feel like the viewers that come to this channel are probably not like that and have bigger goals and aspirations. A lot of folks I don't think even really hate their work. I don't think they hate what they do. I think that they just hate the limitations that are put on them by their job because the two things that a job limits you in and it limits your income. Your income is controlled by somebody and there is a realistic income that uh, that you can 
get that you can ask for. There, a lot of folks are not going to be able to go into their boss and ask for a hundred percent increase in income. And then, even if they were able to get that, you know, another five to ten years down the road, you're probably not going to get another hundred percent increase in your income unless you are doing something very special for that company or you are just in a position where you can do that, like you're one of the top, you know, let's say a hundred people at Amazon maybe can do that, or the top ten percent of the people at uh, PNG or GE may be able to do that. But even if you can do that. The other thing that's going to be limited is your time. Your time is going to be controlled by somebody else. You have to show up at work at a certain time. You, can, you can't leave until a certain time. You only get so many days off for vacation. You only get so many days off if you are ill. And I think that um, beyond the income portion of being controlled by a job, the time limitations and control is probably the worst thing because you end up missing things in your life. You end up missing uh, holidays, depending on what you do for work, you end up being able to uh, see your kids do things at school. If you work a nine to five, if you work like a shift work and you work odd shifts like 24s or you work second or third shift, you end up missing uh, kids games, uh, birthday parties. There's just all sorts of stuff that you miss in with time being the most valuable asset Set that anyone has because once it is gone it can never come back and you only have a certain amount of it and you never know when that time is going to run out message I think the time is quite a bit more valuable than, than the income that is controlled. And I think that is what really is what makes people unsatisfied with their job is because they have to trade their most valuable asset, their time for something that is much lesser in value and that is money. So if you're one of these people that is just dissatisfied with their job and just dissatisfied with working a job, what are you going to be able to do in order to get yourself out of that rat race? Because this is always the question because jobs are easy and you you can go get one and uh, you know you get paid and like I said earlier that's the the drug that they give you in order to give up on your dreams of having financial freedom of having your free time to do whatever you want with not even free time just having your time all together to do what you want with so I put together a list of the things that I have uh, that I've done in my past that that, uh, that I'm working towards getting uh, towards that financial freedom and that freedom of all of my time and the first one is a side hustle. And I know that this is going to entail using even more of your time, but the goal of the side hustle, in my opinion, is to take that extra income that you didn't have before and to invest it in other things that can grow exponentially and free up your time so you're not trading it for money. Now this could be, it could be anything. If you're a graphic design artist, you could do some freelance graphic design work. You can go get yourself an X mark mower and cut grass. You can uh, rake leaves. Like landscaping is a big thing that you can get into relatively easily. You know, spread mulch, cutting grass, things like that for a low price. And it's something that I have done in the past. I cut grass and I made about $75 to $100 an hour doing that. But you know, it took up a lot of my summer, a lot of my time, and it was very seasonal. But there is something out there that you are good at, that you can do as a side hustle to get money to move into these other things because you don't want to just have more of your time being taken up with work when, when we're saying that time is the most valuable resource that you have. So the next thing that you can do is you can start your own business. So whatever it is that, you, that you're doing right now, if you are doing software design, you can start your own software design company. If you are doing um, plumbing for a plumbing company, you can open your own plumbing uh, company where either you sell parts or you do the you do the actual work and then you can hire people and then you can build your business so that you are the guy that's put in the hours that's put in the risk that's put out the money and it's now all coming back to you and you can be the one rolling up with the Lambo and you know when when your other employees like how can I get that you can say here is how I can get that because even if you told one all of your employees that you have exactly what to do to get to where you are probably one out of a hundred might take that leap. But for the most part, folks are going to want to work for you and then you can be the one uh, having the nice stuff, the nice homes, the nice vacations, boats, vehicles, whatever it is that you like, you can start that business and it can be your ticket to financial freedom and time freedom. Now, the next thing that you can do is that you can invest heavily in stocks and uh, cryptocurrencies. These are things that you can put your money in. They will grow over time, almost guaranteed, especially if you are invested in like broad market index funds like BTSAX or if you're invested in you know, basically blue chip 
cryptocurrencies like uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, things like that. Not the, uh, the meme coins that you can place bets on and uh, hope that they pop really well. But the thing is that you are going to need to invest a lot of money into these things in order for you to get uh, financially free, so to speak. If you wanted to just get $100,000 out of, for example, a stock market investment like VTSAX returns approximately 10% annually, historically, you would need to have $1 million invested just to get $100,000 in returns every year. And that is if you were to take all of your uh, returns as far as growth and dividends, cash those out every year, and then you would be counting on that 10% return every year, which does not happen. That is an average. So you would probably need to invest even more in that to have a sustainable $100,000 per year uh, gain that you can go on. Now, the one that I like the most here is invest in rental real estate. These are your residential real estate uh, things like um, just the traditional renting single families, being a landlord and apartment buildings. And my new favorite, which is short term vacation rentals like on Airbnb and VRBO. These things, if you get them in the right markets, now they're usually super expensive. So you have to have some money to put down on these and lever your money into half a million dollar to a million dollar properties. But you can uh, get quite a bit more rent in the short term rental market versus the uh, traditional uh, landlord uh, apartment building single family market. But what you can do is if you don't have a lot of money, you can buy a duplex for just three and a half percent down via FHA loan. You can live in one side, rent the other, and then your mortgage essentially 100% paid for by that investment. And that can allow you to use that money that you would be putting towards rent or a mortgage to go out and purchase other uh, re rental real estate or use that money to invest in the stock market or the crypto of your choice. The biggest thing is, I know you guys are sitting there thinking like, wow, this all sounds really hard. It sounds like it's gonna, like it's gonna be a real big pain in the butt. And yeah, nobody said it was gonna be easy. You know, if, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. Everyone would be financially free. Everyone would, would not have a job. But for the, the thing is, it is hard. And the getting started part is hard. And you have to sacrifice and you have to give up a lot of things in order to get that money to, to put into these investments. But the thing that you're doing is that you are buying your future with these investments. You are buying time that you are not gonna have to spend in an office or uh, on the job site or in an operating room or a courtroom. You're buying that time for yourself in the, in the future. And I think that that is worth it. And if you wanna next level your life, and I think that you guys do, because I feel like my viewers are different than the, the, the herded masses. You have to put in the effort and you have to grind it out in order to get there. It's just, it's up to you to come up with your path to get you out of that nine to five hustle, that rat race and get you on the path to financial freedom. Guys, if you like this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up for it. That really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm, helps me on my path to financial freedom. And what I want you to do is go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there so I can help you reach financial freedom and grow your wealth, increase your success, put you on that road. I appreciate you guys watching today and I'll see you